comedy, the rules, the death, how we fall apart, uh, different schools and bullying. This one is one of my favorite flavors. This is Congo. I love it. Just a little tingy bit of strong, but not too crazy. It's great. I don't know if it was a good idea to ever do the oat milk, but hey ho, here we are. Okay. So it's the next day from the footage that you guys saw yesterday when I was loving on Paelo. It's the next day. Um, I ended up going home uh home as into my family uh i went there uh because I, I just i wasn't okay like emotionally i wasn't okay so i went over to my family to just you know be around the people i love and that that charges me up a little bit makes me feel a little bit better so i went there and i spent some time with my dad mom and my little sister and then came back home and then i was up for a while uh and then went to bed in the hopes that waking up this morning i'll feel a little bit better uh just emotionally i'm not <laughs> i'm not feeling better however i'm sitting next to books and you know if there's anything that's gonna make me feel good yeah it's books okay i've been up i think since around 7 30. so i've just been down here like watching oh this coffee slaps eh? it's really good so i've just been down here watching youtube catching up on youtube um i don't wanna i don't wanna work i don't wanna edit i don't wanna it's sunday Today is the Lord's Day, okay? So I'm going to give myself to the Lord and also rest today, okay? That's what I'm going to do. However, before the day pans out, uh, however it pans out to those who are interested in books, this is your section of the vlog. So in one of my videos, I'm not sure if it's going to be up yet, I've already filmed it before picking up these two books. But in one of my videos, I said that in December, my December TBR, uh, I want to read Liwa and ja Liwa by Jackie Palmonte and uh, An Angel's Demise by Sumia T. These are two of my favorite local authors. And I picked them up the other day. But when I was recording the video, I hadn't picked them up yet, but I've got them now. And I'm going to read them. Uh, I especially want to read this one soon because of the festival. She's going to be at the festival, uh, the book festival, in two weeks. That's Sunday. She's going to be there. And I've pretty much read uh, most of uh, all of her books except this one. Sunyati's books except this one. So I need to get on to that. And then Jackie, because she's a friend and also a an author, okay, she recommended that I pick up this one because she knows that I like uh, thrillers and I like books that are slightly on the darker side and all of that. 
So she was just like, girl, pick, pick it up. Pick up this one. This one is as bad as you're going to love it. Um, so I can't wait to read that too. Um, what else is in here? 79 bucks. 79. 79 bucks. Bargain books, my darling. Hey, bargain books. Um, I picked up The House on Needless Street. And I've heard it's also a thriller. It's also like a dark novel. And I've heard wonderful things about this book, especially from Books and Lala, who is one of my favorite book creators online. And her and I have very similar reading tastes. We read pretty much the same kind of books. Um, so I, put, I saw this for 79 bucks. I'm like, what? This book was released last year, bro. How is this book 79 bucks? It is, okay? Because it's bargain books. Let me see, when was it released? Exactly, 2021. So I am very excited to have it on my shelves. I don't think I think this shelf is fine here. I need to make a more space somewhere. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, and then I got Spy Family. Uh, my partner is into anime, and he loves anime, and. We were talking about Spy Family the other day, and he was like, yeah, no, he's heard about it, whatever, whatever. So I'm trying to get him to read, just read something, okay? So I got him this, and hopefully he'll read it. I actually think I want to read it first before I give it to him. I think I might. <laughs> Officially not buying any more books for the rest of December. I'm really not promise you guys i'm not the only book that i might break that promise for is house of hunger and i'm waiting for it to come by alexis henderson i loved the year of the witching it's a horror no novel by alexis henderson i remember when i was doing the vlog of the year of the witching I was sitting right here and uh i was talking about how like oh my god it's such a dope book and i've heard great things about her latest novel which is uh, House of Hunger. So we don't have it this side as yet. But once we do get it, that's the only, only book that I'm willing to break the band for. Okay? That's the only book. Aside from that, chaps, it's a simple, normal Sunday morning. Um, it's not those days where I feel like putting a camera in my face. Because of just, you know, the emos, the emotions, the emotions that I'm going through right now. Um, I just want to sleep. I just want to have a croissant with some coffee and pass out on my couch. Or watch videos on my couch and just not be responsible for anything or anyone. I want to look at my journal later. I want to look at my Bible. I want to pray. I want to... Um, Spend time with the Lord and myself. Okay? I might see Mr. Diesel. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. This is just a, it's just a quieter weekend for me. So, I'll touch base later. If the mood improves and whatever, I'll touch base later. If I don't, I love you guys. I freaking love you guys. Okay? And I thank you. For choosing me over and over again. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. Okay. I can respect that. I. My lord, my liege, beloved king, my darling, my defender. <laughs> you do not let me keep my name, so I will strip you of yours. Oh! Oh, women! Women who murder men! Yes! <laughs> oh, this book is so awesome. Oh, my God! Oh, God. Hey, everybody. Okay, so I'm like 20 pages into my next read. Okay, this is A Dowry of Blood by 
is T. Gibson, okay? And I'm 20 pages in. I just started reading it. Hi, it's the beginning of a new vlog. Today is... Yo, the spook chats! <laughs> so this is a horror novel. But today is the Beninging... No, today is Friday. And it is... Oh, I was supposed to do something here quickly. So, um, today is the year in function for work. So for us, it's not, there's no theme or anything like that. It's just, um, we're just going to go to the water to Val and have lunch at Ponte Val, which I've been there before. I've been there with my family, been there with my friends, been there with my partner. It's amazing there. It's so great. So we're going to have lunch there. We're going at 11. No, we're, we're going to be there by 11, so we're going to leave here around 10. And uh, what else? Tomorrow is a wedding. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Royetta twan, twan, twan. Ribone. Mwanao twana lele kalati. Why and like is that even a thing? But anyway, fine. Uh, <clears throat> so tomorrow, why wanna tamala twenty kalati? Anyway, so tomorrow is a wedding. It's a traditional wedding. I have my dress. My dress is ready. Um, you will have seen in the last vlog that I took my dress. I have my dress. It's ready. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Okay. Um, and I was gonna wear my dress with a black heel. But for the past two days, my, what's this, my uh, knee has been niggling. And I have learned one thing in my life. If your knee is bothering you, don't aggravate it. Um, so I might actually, because it's a traditional affair and I'm excited about that, I might just actually wear black on black leather um, all-stars. That could work because my dress is navy blue. So it's a white all-star would just not go. I finished reading Daughter of the Moon Goddess a couple of days ago. I think two or three days ago. Loved it. Gave it a five out of five. Oh my gosh. You know, it was a four out of five. And then there was a point where the dragons came out. And I was just like, I don't remember the last time I read about dragons. You know, it just gave me GOT vibes, and I was just like, yes, yes, yes. Um, so it's it's a beautiful book. I gave it a five out of five. And this morning started this one, and I can already tell you, it's gonna be a five out of five. I can already tell. Let me tell. Let me read just a paragraph. I never dreamed it would end like this, my lord. Your blood splashing hot flecks onto my nightgown and pouring in rivulets onto our bedchamber floor. But creatures like us live a long time. There is no horror left in the world that can surprise me. Eventually, even your death becomes its own sort of innovid. And then, eventually, your own death becomes its own source of, in, of I can't, I can't, inevitable, inevitability. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. Even loneliness, hollow and cold, becomes so familiar it starts to feel like a friend. Woo! I'm so excited for this book. Um, I've been reading fantasy novels. I think the last three odd novels that I read were fantasy novels. So I am going to indulge myself in horror and thriller novels at least for the next three reads, because I'm, I miss it. And it's so obvious that I miss it because I'm only 20 pages in and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can already tell vampires. Um, so basically this one, I, I went into it blind, okay? And basically all I can tell you is that we're reading from the point of view of Constanta. And Constanta is one of the wives of a <clears throat> vampire. I don't know his name as yet. Constanta calls him my lord, my liege, my king, 
my protector, my deliverer, uh, because he is a vampire and he turned her, of course, he turned her into a vampire because he found her uh, dying um, at her family home because uh, the war had ravaged her family and her family was killed and the soldiers came and killed her family. And uh, she was about to die until my lord, my liege, my king came and <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm already thinking about interview with the vampire. I'm so excited. Gents, let me read, bro. I, then I'm going to get up and then Sizu Kalkane. And then Guzu Bamnandi, Sizu Kalkaku Bamnandi. But, yeah. Um, and at the beginning, he says, I will call you Constanta. So we don't know her name. We know what he called her. And she kills him. This is something that we know from the beginning. From, from, from 10 pages in, we already know that she kills him. So... There's this line that says, you did not let me keep my name, so I will strip you of yours. Woo! <laughs> Powerful women, my darling. Powerful women who kill bad men. We love it for them. Keeping it very simple today, my darlings. I'm uh, going to wear a dress, shoes, flats because my right knee is wiling and no one knows why the hell it's wiling. I'm going to carry a tote and then I just added like a little, yeah, one, a little orange. Uh, uh, or, what color is this? What color is this, Luna? Eh, hey, king color. Mustard, rust. King color, you know you. That matches, I've added it to the bag. That matches with uh, this. Love totes because then I can carry my books. I can carry ooh, my Kindle. My Kindle, my darling. Ish, forget this, okay? It's real life things. <laughs> need my Kindle, chat. Need my Kindle. And I need my pods, definitely. And not the earbuds. <laughs> and I'll probably wear my Apple Watch, but let's just leave it in the charger for a little bit. That's it. That's all I am wearing today. Keeping it very simple. Carrying a book with me because we're by the river and people are probably going to want to go off on boat rides and take pictures and all of that. I'm just going to sit there because I've been there a couple of times. So, nah, bro. I just want to sit there and probably I'll pull out either. I feel like her, I want to read at home. You know what I'm saying? Her, I might as well start something else that's very horror-ish. You know what I'm saying? Buzz it. Alright, ring it up. I was going to show you brushing my teeth, but we all know how you feel about that, so bye. <laughs> I'll be back just now. I actually want to make myself a cup of coffee before we leave, so... I'll be back before we leave. Mm. The limo. I don't know the chappies. So it's, hi, my chaps. <laughs> I was just joking. Oh, let's go. Let's go. So anyway, I'm going downstairs. I've got about, let us see, 10 minutes. Um, I've got about 10 minutes before I have to leave the house. Now, I did do my face. I did not put any foundation on except setting powder. I put setting powder all over my face. I did my brows because, yeah, they're grown out and they look kind of nasty. Okay, so I had to shape them a little bit and that's fine. And then there's no lashes. These are all me, honey. These are all me, nothing else. No highlight, no contour, no nothing. Just powder that around the eyes and that's it. That's it. Because I do not want to have a heavy face of makeup on today. So we are going to make a, a, a covey. 
And this was a recommendation from Refilwe on Twitter. Refilwe recommended us to try the Nescaprezzo. Uh, this is sort of like the holiday range, you know, they come in three, they th come in a pack of three. And uh, this one is the hazelnut flavored roasted ground coffee capsules. And then uh, this one is the normal coffee, roasted coffee capsules. And then the third one, which I didn't buy, is the raspberry one. And the reason why I didn't buy that one is because I don't like raspberries. I've come to acknowledge in life that even when I buy them, the fruit, I hardly ever touch them or reach for them. So yeah, I opted not to get it, but uh, I got these two and I tasted the hazelnut one yesterday. And my God, my God, I was blown. So I'm going to have it black because I, it's not my eating time yet. I normally eat after 11 and it's only 25 past nine. So and I'm trying to, I've been doing really well. I've been eating very clean this week. So, so around as well. And I'm trying to keep it that way. Even today at the Christmas party, I'm probably going to have a salad. Maybe the only thing that I'll be going off on is wine. And by force, because people will be drinking wine. Typically, I would rather be drinking a glass of whiskey. My father just called me. And I find it so strange when he calls me, go what's up? He's been WhatsApping, calling me all morning, and goodness knows why. So I added a little bit of water to the coffee. It is an intensity seven, which is fantastic for me. Typically, I wouldn't need to add more water, but um, I, I ain't trying to be. But I'm, try, I'm trying to be like this, you know, because I probably might have another coffee that side before we leave. So anyway, um, vlogmas is happening. Okay, it's happening, and oh, I'm still maneuvering around what kind of content I'm going to create for Vlogmas, but I'm pretty much going to do the same thing that I did for each one, Vlogtober. So there will be three, four videos a week, and this time around I'm gonna try and also have a video for the members every week as well. So there'll be a lot, okay? And there's already content, there's already seven videos just sitting waiting to be released, so Good sis has been working, been working, been prepping for Vlogmas. Vlogmas? Vlogmas. So otherwise, you know, um, oh man, that's a, good, that's a good coffee. You should actually drink coffee with a straw. You know that. You should actually drink coffee with a straw because teeth unless it's got milk in it. But if it's black, anyway, that's a tip for y'all. So anyway, we're going to do Vlogmas. Uh, really looking forward to it. Also a little bit nervous about it because it's a lot of content. It's constantly editing and working on top of just working on other stuff, right? So it is quite a lot of content, but I know a lot of us during the December break take a break. Um, so please watch our content. All your favorite creators. Uh, Vlogmas is one of the months where, um, or rather December is one of the months where, you know, YouTube is a little bit kinder to us as creators. And please watch our content. Please like our content. All of us. I'm not talking just on behalf of me, but your favorite content creators. Please watch. Please like. Even though you don't feel like you want to like the video. But help a girl or a guy or a non-binary person get some coin in their pocket. Okay? Just help them out. You're really, in the spirit of giving, just help them out. And I am also considering, because I've got a lot, a lot of books um, that I unhold and I'm also thinking each week uh, of Vlogmas I'm going to do two book giveaways on my Instagram so you have to be following me on Instagram they're all for Instagram they're not for YouTube because the two big giveaways the hamper giveaways which I'm still prepping now and I have got it, they, they're so pretty. They're so cute. They're so cute. They're so cute. But look out for that on Instagram. But the two big hamper giveaways for the 30k uh, giveaway 
are slightly bigger and they have a lot more things it's like they're almost like uh, self-care packages but also really just packages of some of my favorite things and i can't wait to share what's in there with you guys but for now i think um just in the spirit of christmas and in the spirit of me trying to get you guys to read more <laughs> I'm going to be doing two book giveaways each week on Instagram and they're going to go to a different each book is going to go to a different winner every time so no one is going to win three books this month or whatever everybody is going to win one 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 and so that's two so that'll be eight books well we're already in the first week of December so yeah that'll be pretty much I think around eight books I'm so excited just in the spirit of giving um, and if I think about giving something else away or um, I just feel like giving something else away I will I'll mention it on my social media um, because it's just a thank you it's just a gratitude thing you guys know I always do giveaways when I hit 10,000 20,000 30,000 but um, this year is the first year where I feel like I, I don't have the capital to, or to just keep giving things away or buying things to give away. And unfortunately, I don't receive much PR. If I did receive a lot of PR, I would be giving PR away because I don't, I'm not going to give away, um, I'm not going to keep something I already have or something I've, I've used before or something that or whatever or sell it when I can give it away, especially in the spirit of the festive season. So we're going to give away stuff. We're going to give away books, mostly. Mostly it's going to be books because there's a lot of books. I'll show you, uh, but I'll probably show you all of that tomorrow. I have to leave the house now. I need to go upstairs and change. Okay, so I'm going to go. I'll see you guys when I get back. Hopefully I don't come back too late because I do have a couple of things I need to do. So I will see you guys when I get back. Until then, got loss on now, looking somewhat presentable. Uh, I'll see you guys when I get back. Until then, living sharp. Ne? And let's go and chippies. Go drink tea or something. Okay, love ya. Bye. Look at this, the Pont de Valle. Do you remember the space down here? The water has taken it all up. Look at this. How wild is this? This is the craziest thing. I, I, I'm shocked. I remember when we were here, we were sitting somewhere down here. We were sitting somewhere down here on the couches. And then that place had people in it. You remember? Apparently, they've opened the swimming gates. So far again. And now, this has happened. This is the craziest thing. So we can't even sit down there. We're sitting inside by the restaurant. Nuts. Hey chaps, hi. Uh, as always, I'm always in a rush. As always, I'm always doing my makeup when I call. It's the next day. I went to the Christmas lunch yesterday. I didn't film because my colleagues, some of them know that I'm on YouTube, but again, it's, it's, a, it's a private work thing. I really didn't want to do that to them and also to myself, really. However, I think I took some clips, I think, of the area uh, where we were. We were at Pont de Val and I've been to Pont de Val a lot of times. I've actually shown Pont de Val on my vlogs because I really love going there when I need to connect with water for, you know, the ancestral vibes and stuff, you know. So on days where I just feel kind of lost and alone, lonely, uh, down, unsure, and I have the time, I will go to Pont de Val. I do that all the time. Not all the time. I haven't done it in a while, but, you know, Good Sis, I think, is in a relatively good place in her life. So, And the ancestrals are not bothering you, bothering me. Um, anyway, so today is a wedding day, a wedding day. So today is wedding day, and I have to head out to Naledi's place in the next, 
let's say 20 minutes so I need to get this makeup on fast uh, even 30 minutes is fine I need to go over to Naledi's place because I can't zip up my dress myself I wish I could but I can't um, the zip goes way high up on my back and I can't do nothing about it <laughs> I can't do nothing about it and I'm alone here at home and I was not trying to call into one of my neighbors to come and help me out with that. I was, there was one option, but because I found myself speaking to my sister on the phone in the morning, I'm like, ah, you know what? Let me actually go pass by there because she also has my power bank. Let me go give my shit anyway. Anyway, let me do my makeup. I'll be back when I'm done. Hi, I'm back. I'm done my makeup. Uh, good sis needs to hit the road. Really, at this point, Good sis needs to hit the road and let's go. Let's go. But I just wanted to show you back, done my makeup, wonderful little we are. That is the present for the bride and the groom. And here's my dress. This is my dress. It's such a beautiful dress, but you'll just have to see it on me. And yeah, I need to leave the house now. I should be there by 12, but look at my life. Hi, I'm at my sister's house, the face. Whoa. I can't show you, she's behind and she's so got I was very, feeling you? She's got very, that very nigga short much. Nigga, I'm gonna eat it for lunch. I'm gonna get on a one. Yeah. So my sister's gonna help me get into this dress chair. Ah, it's not a champagne. It's a lie or a because now it's our champagne. It's not my cup of tea. Okay, but you have this champagne. Yes, I will. If Woolworths isn't the Woolworths of Woolworths, <laughs> I mean, really, really, is it necessary? Is it necessary, Woolworths? Is it? Is it really? I don't know. But it's fine. Whatever. Hey, everybody, it's Monday. Just got back from work and then I popped into the shops because weekly produce, my darling, weekly produce. So, yeah. Have a look while I unpack everything, okay? 